Today we're going to use an SW420 vibration sensor to turn on lights. Welcome to Jim and Joe's. The SW420 only has three pins, a positive, a negative, and a signal out. Unlike other sensors, this doesn't return just a high-low, but a range of values, meaning that you could set a threshold to turn something on or off. There's also a potentiometer where you could set the sensitivity of the sensor module. An Arduino Pro Mini will be used to take in the readings from the SW420 and switch on the lights. The first pin, the signal pin of the SW420, will be plugged into pin 10 of the Arduino Pro Mini. The middle pin of the SW420 is the ground, and will be plugged into the ground rail of the breadboard. With the last pin of the SW420 being plugged into VCC in on the Arduino Pro Mini. Here we have two green LEDs. Normally we'd use clear, but for the purpose of this video we're using green so it shows up better. On the negative pins of both of the LEDs, we're using 220 ohm resistors. The two positive pins go to pin 12 of the Pro Mini. Now we're going to hook up our 9 volt battery connector. Connect the ground to a 100 ohm resistor, which is connected to the ground rail. And then on the positive side, we plug in the 9 volt connector. Next, we'll add a three pin switch. This will turn the circuit on and off. The first pin of the switch is off, so we'll take that to ground. The middle pin is VCC in. We'll take that to our power rail. And last but not least, the final pin, which determines when the circuit is on goes to the RAW of the Arduino Pro Mini. And last but not least, we plug the Arduino's ground. The DIY also comes with this STL, a sphere that you could 3D print. Once all the components are inside, we now have a ball that once it stops rolling, will shine a light. Now let's look at the code. Okay, so let's go over the code. Constant EP equals 10. What that's saying is constant integer EP equals pin 10. So that's going to be the SW420 on the Arduino Pro Mini pin 10. Const, which is short for constant, means you can't change it once it's been set. So that keeps us from being able to override it, setting it to 15 or something else. LED equals 12, so we're using pin 12 on the Pro Mini. That's uh, going to be used to turn the LEDs on and off. Threshold equals 1200. This is something you may need to play around with, get it the way you want it. Uh, 1200 seems to work okay for me. I, I, I think I'll probably tweak it myself. But what Threshold says is if the SW420 reads higher than 1200, then turn on. Bull trigger equals false. So that says, has it been triggered? Yes, no. Pin mode, LED, we set that to output because we want to be able to turn those on and off. And then I go ahead and then just use a digital write to set the LEDs to low to make sure they're off. EP, we set to input because we do want to read in that sensor to, to get the vibrations. Serial begin 9600, standard console baud rate, so we can print values to the screen to the console, standard stuff. And next we have get measurement. If we scroll down, we set a delay of 10 milliseconds, and then we pulse in... That's a built-in Arduino function. Uh, we pass an EP, 
which is the SW420, and we set it to high, saying give us a reading. So back in the loop, we have get measurement. We set it to high to get a, a reading, and we say, save it to measure, which is a variable type of long. Um, we print out some stuff uh, just to be able to see the measurement. We say if measurement that we got from the SW420 is greater than threshold, which is 1200, and it hasn't been triggered before, so the ball hasn't been thrown and triggered, then set trigger equal to true. Then the next two lines below prints what the SW420 value was. And then we say here, has it been triggered? Yes, because the threshold has been met. Now check to see if measure equals zero. So has the ball stopped yet? And uh, stop reached, we don't need that anymore. I'm gonna remove that. Uh, basically I had that in there before, so you could shake it and turn it back off, but it was really unreliable. So the ball has stopped, it's, it, the measurement is zero. We wait a second, again, that'll be removed. And then we set the LEDs to high, so we turn the lights on. And, uh, and then I just have some console stuff there for debugging. Now I set a delay of 50 milliseconds. It doesn't need to be one millisecond or 10 milliseconds. I haven't really played around with the delay to see what its limits are. This works just fine. It could probably be a lot higher. Again, feel free to change it and, and make it what you want. I would like to remind you that uh, we are offering in the DIY package an Arduino Pro Mini. I mention this because there is an Arduino Mini in the list. Make sure you select the right one. It is 5 volts, 16 megahertz. Okay, so that's about it. Code's really simple as you can see. Again, feel free to change it around, make it yours, have fun with it. That's the whole point of this is to explore and to learn. And I thank you for joining us today on Jim and Joe's. Don't forget to subscribe, like, share this video with friends, anybody else that might be interested in this kind of stuff. And please check in soon. We hope to bring you more videos and have a great day.